we I will introduce the next speaker, Kozo. Kozo Nishida is one of the members of the Bioconductor Community of Advisory Board, and he is also one of the organizers of BioC Asia 2021. Mm, he is also the author of several bioconductor packages such as and tr transomix to cytoscape and uh, some other packages. And uh, in, this is a uh, part of a feather session and the uh, hero and uh, Kozo will talk about improving accessibility to bioconduct in Japan. So welcome Kozo. Hello everyone. I'm Kozo Nishida. I am one of the members of Bioconductor Community Advisory Board. In this talk, I will introduce how to improve accessibility to Bioconductor in Japan. Links to the slides for this talk can be found in BioC Asia's Slack workspace. The speaker notes on the linked slides have information in Japanese as well as English. This talk is read by Amazon Polly. If you prefer Japanese, please refer to the Japanese information as well. There were few Bioconductor developers in Japan at least a few years ago. On the other hand, Although there are no specific numbers, it seems that the number of users is never small. The situation looks like this diagram. That is we Japanese get information from Bioconductor, but we have few opportunities to suggest something to Bioconductor. How can we turn such a one-way situation into a bidirectionally accessible situation? It's clear that community activities can change that. In Japan, there have been some community activities related to accessibility to Bioconductor. In this talk, I will introduce what the Japanese community activities are like. I will introduce two main activities. One is Biopackathon and the other is Bioconductor's CAB Working Group. Biopackathon is a community started by Koki to share packaging skills in Japanese. A few years ago, Koki was one of the few Japanese Bioconductor package authors. Koki recruited people who were interested in Bioconductor packaging. And Koki held a hackathon to make and submit Bioconductor packages. Koki promoted exchanging bioconductor packaging information in Japanese. This photo was taken before the coronavirus spread. Koki had set two goals for Biopackathon. One is to increase the number of bioconductor authors. The other is that Japan will host BioC Asia 2021. Now there are more bioconductor package authors in Japan. And now we are able to host BioC Asia from Japan. So it is important for bioconductor to support community activities in the local language in this way. From here, we will introduce the specific activities of Biopackathon. Since the spread of the coronavirus, we have changed the format from hackathons to monthly meetups. During this meetup, we met people who helped increase bioconductor contributions and host BioC Asia 2021. For example, Satoshi Kume became the author of the BioImage DBS bioconductor package. Satoshi is also the organizer of BioC Asia and is in charge of the Japanese workshop tomorrow. Hiroyuki Yamamoto also became the author of the Loadings Cran package and also held a Japanese workshop the day before yesterday. Tom Kelly is also the organizer of BioC Asia. Biopackathon has contributed some talk about Bioconductor to a website called Togo TV. Togo TV is a video portal website for bioinformatics tutorial resources in Japan. Biopackathon contributed a video about annotation hub to Togo TV. The number of views of this YouTube video is the highest among the results searched on the annotation hub that have been uploaded within a year. Kentaro is the person who helped us submit this video to Togo TV. By the way, the rise in Togo TV viewing in Japan is not to be missed by the bioconductor community. This is due to the enrichment of educational resources and educational efficiency. Currently, it seems that it is more time efficient to have students study on YouTube than to teach directly by university faculty members. And Togo TV can be used for free. It may be better to continue to provide bioconductor information to Togo TV. Togo TV editor Hiromasa welcomes the bioconductor related video. Let's go back to the activity introduction of Biopackathon. Biopackathon also introduced its activities to Japanese Society of Bioinformatics. The Japanese research field still seems to have little interest in packaging and the infrastructure. This introduction emphasized its necessity and usefulness. And most importantly, Biopackathon members submitted several Bioconductor packages. At least for the Bioconductor packages on this list, I think the Biopackathon helped. I also found some packages submitted to Bioconductor from Japan besides this list. Biopackathon may not be directly related to them. However, the Biopackathon activities may have had some impact. 
Through the activities of Biopackathon, we realize the importance of language consideration. We are particularly interested in improving accessibility based on consideration for the local language. We are also influenced by last year's BioC Asia Mandarin workshop. So Koki investigated how useful automatic transcription or translation would be, when we decided to host this year's BioC Asia. He tried six transcription or translation software for English, New Zealand English, Japanese, and Mandarin talks and evaluated the accuracy. This is a summary of its accuracy. The accuracy shows that 5 is the best in 5 levels. It is not quantitative, it is just the native subjective evaluation. We have learned the following, the accuracy of English transcription is good, and there is no big difference between software. The English transcription accuracy is almost the same between English and New Zealand English. Also, there are few software that support real-time translation of the transcribed English. From several points of view, it seems better to use YouTube. On the other hand, automatic transcription for non-English is useless. Non-English cannot be transcribed and therefore cannot be translated. Biopackathon has made the following changes to Japan. One is the addition of a self-learning loop about Bioconductor using Japanese. The other is the submission of packages from Japan to Bioconductor. But there are still issues left. The size of the community is still small and there are limits to overcoming language barriers that rely on software. How can you grow the community and make Bioconductor more accessible? How can we overcome the language barriers? The key to solving the above-mentioned issues is likely to be the Bioconductor CAB project. The project was submitted to CZIEOSS by CAB Chair Eden. And Eden receives the funding. The content of the project is simply indicated by the title in red rectangle on this slide. The fundamental components that make up this project are on this bullet list. In particular, equity and access is most relevant to accessibility, which is the subject of this talk. The Bioconductor community has a free cloud computing environment. It is called an orchestra. The orchestra platform is developed by Sean. You can reproduce the past Bioconductor materials in a cloud computing environment with clicking the launch button. Click the launch button to launch your studio. And you can reproduce the past Bioconductor teaching materials in a cloud computing environment. At Bioconductor CZI EOSS project, we are using this orchestra to support the worldwide community. Why does the orchestra will make us more accessible to Bioconductor? Togo TV, for example, is a great learning resource, but it's not runnable and interactive. It's just about watching a lecture video. If you use the orchestra, you can run the materials interactively in Restudio in the cloud. And all the source code of the teaching material is published on GitHub. And when you update GitHub, the contents of the orchestra materials will also be updated. This mechanism is suitable for adding translations of teaching materials. If you want to make a translation for an English material, all you need to do is add the translated RMD under the vignettes folder of the project you are interested in. And since last year's BioC Asia, there are more orchestra workshops in non-English. This list is the non-English materials found in the orchestra. This increase in teaching materials in orchestra, whether translated or non-translated, will make more people accessible to Bioconductor. In addition to orchestra, Bioconductor CZI EOSS project aims to ensure the quality of instruction and teaching materials by adopting the Carpentry style. The Carpentries is a global community for learning computational skills for efficient, open and reproducible research. The Carpentries teaching materials are unified in the style shown on the right side of this slide, and are of high quality. In addition to making teaching materials, there are also courses to train instructors using the teaching materials. More people are becoming instructors from the Bioconductor community. I am also in the, the instructor training checkout procedure. Although it is still in the pre-alpha stage, Carpentry-style Bioconductor teaching materials are also available. It is being promoted by Bioconductor Education Committee, led by Laurent and Charlotte. The collaboration between Bioconductor and Carpentries is good news for Japan. Because in Japan, Tom Kelly started the Carpentries Japanese team three years ago. Tom is also one of the organizers of this BioC Asia. Although software is attached to the team name, it is not a community that limits activities to software carpentries. Masami, for example, is a librarian and interested in the library carpentry. I'm also interested in data carpentries as well as software carpentries. We are translating English carpentries materials into Japanese at this GitHub organization. The translation is reviewed on GitHub like this image. Two or more reviewers are assigned to one translation. Therefore, I think that the quality of translation can be ensured to some extent. 
Also, some checks are automated with GitHub Actions. It allows us to translate the English material systematically. And we are not only translating the materials, but also preparing for the workshop. In April of this year, Joel took the lead in holding the first software carpentries workshop in Japanese at the University of Tokyo. The Carpentries Japanese team community activity has been steadily advanced, and may be able to provide some help to Bioconductor CZI EOSS project. And based on the experience in the Carpentries Japanese team, I am also doing Japanese translation in the CAB multilingual working group. Creating Japanese subtitles on the second day of BioC Asia was my first work as a multilingual group of CAB. Subtitling videos is a difficult task to do automatically with software, or AI, as you can see from the Biopackathon benchmarking results. It's also more difficult task than translating the orchestra materials I introduced earlier. Since it is a spoken language, it is difficult to accurately guess commas and periods, and it is not enough to just translate it, and it is necessary to correct the translation manually. However, it is better to add subtitles to the explanation of very important concepts such as Laurie's keynote talk. As I said, adding subtitles for talk is a hard task. Therefore, it is desirable that project management be systematic like the Carpentries Japanese team. So I respect the third phase of Open Life Science Project. There is a mechanism for updating video subtitle files about Open Life Science projects with the help of the community. I will learn this project management as a reference to do the same for Bioconductor's talk. If I can set up the project, please join us in the Bioconductor Talk Translation Project. This is a summary of this talk. It is effective to promote the exchange of information in various places by using the local language, like Biopackathon, Togo TV. However, that alone may only strengthen the self-learning loop. Bioconductor CZI EOSS project looks promising to increase feedback from around the world to Bioconductor. The project will facilitate access to Bioconductor from around the world. The project includes the following technologies and community collaborations. It can be an orchestra platform, a carpentries, or any other community management mechanism. With the addition of other communities and technologies in the future, we will be more accessible to Bioconductor. Finally, I would like to thank all the community members introduced in this slide. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Kozo. Sui uh, is preparing the next London workshop, so I'm taking over as a facilitator from her. So uh, do you have any questions or comments? Uh, please, please type uh, into the Slack channel. So now we have a question from Jeremy Selva. Uh, it took surprising from the accuracy uh, first uh, plot graph. The translation tool is able to translate English to Japanese better than Japanese to Japanese. If I understand the graph correctly, is there a unique reason for this? Grammatical structure issues understand the three alphabet structure. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe <laughs> actually, I actually this is this is evaluated by Koki and his friend, and I don't yeah. know much about this. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So maybe I should answer this question. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe. Uh, translation uh, is uh, not bad, and the bottleneck of uh, accuracy is the voice recognition step uh, before the translation step. Uh, for, for example, uh, <clears throat> when I used YouTube uh, and uh, watched my Japanese talk, uh, and uh, I checked the result of subtitling of Japanese. And so, which means Japanese, Japanese to Japanese. And such, uh, I checked it, but uh, such uh, subtitling is uh, not accurate, actually. So maybe my voice is not accurately converted into the <coughs> character in, B in PC. So 
so poor、uh, Japanese sentence will convert it to much, much poor, poorer <laughs> as a、uh, sentence. So, so I, I think it is the、uh, uh, crux of the matter. So if it, it, such step is improved,、uh, Japanese to English or Japanese to Chinese、uh, is getting better,、uh, I think. So,、uh, any other question or comments? Ah. Yeah,、uh, question from Luke Gandolfo.、Uh, thanks, Kozo.、Uh, I only speak English.、Uh, what can people like me do to help? Mm. Please check the <laughs> our bio. Bioconductor both CAB, CAB, CAB working groups GitHub project. Also,、uh, we have a、uh, monthly meeting, so anybody can join us. So, next question from Tom Kelly. Ah, sorry, uh, this is comment. Uh, uh, next question from Satoshi Kume.、Uh, what is the plan to contribute to the Asia art community?、Uh, I think I will translate the orchestra workshop, English workshop materials to Japanese. It's very easy to contribute. Just,、uh, it just Translate, for example. This is my workshop materials repo. And if you are Japanese and if you contribute the community, all you need to do is. This is the English workshop material, and you all you need to do is just translating this English to Japanese and create this RMD file. Like, and you don't need to care about other things, just you. All you need to do is just translate this markdown to another, for example, under ja.rmd file like this. If you create it, this type of file, Japanese learners are very, very, very. <laughs> it is very. <laughs> Helpful for the Japanese students or other researchers. Okay,、uh, so we don't have enough time. So, uh, okay, uh, I will close this session.